Okay, we're gonna assume that that fixed the bridge. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. What the fuck? Come on, I fixed you. Maybe there's something I can throw on there. The bridge is stuck and we'll need a push to dislodge. What the fuck do you want me to use? I mean, if Daniel was a smart person, he'd extend his arm out and try to grab it! Ow. That didn't feel good. I don't know why I jumped off like that. Oh, God. Let's get back up. Oh, boy. I only have two of these health things, so I need to be not falling off of shit. Well, since that door doesn't want to open, I guess I'll check out the... over here. The sister. I wonder what a sister it is. The blue light blinded him as they had done inside that murky tomb in Algeria. It was just as enchanting as he tried to approach it, but the Baron's firm hand held him back. Uh... Huh? What the hell? Is that water? That's water. Ah, uh, That's water. You are conserving water from the spring. Yes, it enables me to control the water in the drain sewers to some extent. Also, it can be used for all sorts of purposes. Like the drinking room? Well, that too. But mostly to run different machines. Ah, like water mills. Exactly. I fell, guys. That doesn't work. Get back up. Come on. You can do it, Daniel. You believe in yourself. There you go. I still believe in, uh... The fact that I wish I could extend my arms out to grab ledges and stuff. What the hell is this? Can I move it? A faint murmur echoes through the giant, the large empty chamber. Well, that wouldn't make it empty, would it? Hello? Hello, it's Daniel! Remember me? I came from, uh, London. I brought the creepy shadow monster with me? Yeah, it'll be fine. Okay. Uh, sounds like he's going insane himself. I'd be going insane if I was stuck in a giant metal stone box. Alright. Damn it. Damn it. Okay. And we noticed that over there. I gotta be careful with my jumps. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Okay, that's fucking water. Hey, I can walk on the edge. Oh, never mind. I don't. Oh, don't tell me I have to go in there. What the hell? I don't elevate from this position up. I should be able to. Shit. Um, I'm I'm really scared, guys. I don't I don't want to go in the water. Uh. What 
Okay. I'm gonna run then. Running, running, running! Leaping, leaping, leaping! Oh, shit. Thank God for that. I just want to see what that thing is. I'm not actually going to do anything because I'm scared of what will happen. Okay. Redirect sewer water. Well, that's simple. 7th of August, 1839. There is no denying that Alexander puts a lot of faith into what I can only describe as magic. I'm not surprised. Even while traveling across Europe, I assumed I would have to embrace the supernatural to save my mind and life. As a novice, I do everything in my power to stay focused and not dwell too much on my own doubts. Alexander woke me up early and told me it was time we got started on our work. He was obviously excited to get going and we headed downstairs to the old dungeon where he preferred to attempt his rituals. It turns out that Alexander is a true Renaissance man, paralleled Renaissance only by man. Da Vinci, I'm sure. He showed me several rooms fitted for specific research, such, such as, as anatomy, anatomy studies, studies, alchemy, alchemy and, and botany. botany. The crown of Brennenburg must be the inner sanctum, a most hallowed ground where we shall attempt to permanently banish the orb's shadow. Yeah. I'm sure that went well. Obviously. Okay. Well, this is going to redirect sewer water. So, I guess that's going to make all that water that was in that tunnel come over here. And I'll be honest with you, I don't like the idea of that. Because when you think of it in context, that means all the water over there is going to come over here. And that means that... You know, if there's any monsters in that sewer, which I'm assuming there would be, they'd be over here too. Huh. Uh. Come on. Just jump. Damn you. Ah. Ah. Damn it. Take it! Yeah! And there's another valve right there. Eighth of August, 1839. I could never be certain until today that I was on the right path. Using my orb, Alexander managed to channel its power unto us. The inner sanctum flared with blue, fiery light, and I could feel the same things I felt in the dark chamber in Algeria. It was like standing in a mad whirlpool of impressions. It was terrifying, but Alexander kept calm and wielded strange tools of science in order to tame the storm. Like a kite? Suddenly, the I blue guess light was stained by strains of red and the walls burst with pulsating tissue resonating with the scene. Alexander quickly covered the orb in some cloth and the unspeakable thing vanished. Apparently, the orb's shadow is closer than Alexander thought. He said I should prepare for a warding ritual tomorrow. I'm not sure what he expects, but I have a bad feeling about this. I'm sure you do, Daniel. Was that the 8th of August? Okay. There we go. That was 11 days ago. Holy Jesus Christ. Wow. The story's starting to catch up with itself. I just noticed that this is a door. Of course it won't budge. It's blocked. At least this one has an excuse. 
The other ones are just kind of locked for no fucking reason at all. Although because of uh, Penumbra, I never will trust locked doors again. Because there are always going to be doors that are locked when you pass by them the first time. But when you come back later, oh no. They'll have shit in them. So let's see. Walking, walking, running actually. And that's steam. And not the good steam. Ha! Uh, bitches think they can stop me. With steam. Ooh. What was that? Okay. Um, uh, this is the final one. 9th of August, 1839. It is still early, and Alexander is busy preparing for the ritual later today. Seeing him this worked up makes me question why. What does he stand to gain? I realize he is curious about it all, but surely there must be more. Is he so foolish he will attempt to tame the power of the orb? I must admit that yesterday, when Alexander flooded the inner sanctum with blue light, I realized we had but graced the orb's true potential. This might turn out to be more than escaping a creeping shadow. It might be the beginning of something truly extraordinary. Yeah, like you drinking a memory potion and completely fucking is over. I don't even know if I want to kill Alexander anymore because you seem like a stupid fuck yourself. Uh. Alright, so there are three valves. Touch, touch, touch. Why do the lights go out? Whatever. Um, there's a fish there. Huh. We're going to touch the water. Alright, there's no, uh, there's no splash splash kill kill yet, so we are going to bolt. Yeah, running, running, running! Running! Running as fast as I can! Oh boy. Okay, which one should I do next? Um, I think that after I've, I've released the next sewer water. I'm gonna start being chased by shit. So it's either that one or that one. We're gonna go with this one because this one's actually the farthest away. Making our way downtown. Lightning fast. Worried about my health. Oh god. Oh shit. I almost fell. Okay, um... Redirect water! Is the water getting higher? Maybe the water demons can only attack you in chest high water. I wouldn't doubt it. I really wouldn't. 